You're not real. You're only in my head. Well, what's more real than being in your head? Just stop it, will you? Will you just stop? You're making me crazy. You don't need my help for that. You're doing a fine job all on your own. I'm just trying to help you become your own man. But you always hide behind some woman's skirt. What do you expect from me? I expect for you to take responsibility for your life. You want to keep your wife? You want to keep Meg? Then <clears throat> just get rid of the competition. Take that gun and use it on dust. to disturb you. Do I know you? I have to tell you something. Whatever you're planning to do, don't do it. I've been thinking about it, maybe you're right. You know, maybe putting Dusty out of everybody's misery isn't such a great idea. I after thought all. we already decided Yeah, that. but after you left, you know, I kind of changed my mind a little bit. Oh, God, Paul, you need help. Yeah. Well, to make sure that something like that doesn't happen again, you know, to avoid temptation, I need for you to hold on to my gun. And no, that's not code for anything. I... Okay. Oh, okay. I'll be very happy to stop by your place and, and pick it up after. What, what is that? What are you... That... What are you doing? You can't walk... You're walking around with that? You can't do this! Well, I know. That's why I'm giving it to you. That way I won't be walking around with it. Oh. Oh. There's really no point in me giving you the gun to hide if you if you show me where the key is. Good point. All right, listen. I know I've been talking crazy lately. I got a lot of really weird thoughts floating around in my head. But I think it's gonna pass. Really? How long is this window of sanity gonna last? Because I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna get better unless you get professional help, Paul. Yeah. Em, you think I'm crazy? Not right this second. Okay. I guess I don't need to worry then. You guys are spending a lot of time together these days. Anything going on I should know about? Actually, yeah, there is. Is something wrong? Did Paul contact you again? No, no, no. Everything's fine as far as I know. Uh, I come in? Yeah, please. So, uh, I just had a conversation with Dusty Donovan. <laughs> did he thank you for saving him from Paul? I think he did. The guy kind of talks between the lines. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Well, I will gladly thank you for saving both Paul and Dusty. So, uh, do you think you and Paul will get back together again? I don't know. I just know I don't want him to do anything to hurt himself or hurt anybody else. I just worry about him. Well, you say that, but are you willing to do something about it? Of course I am. Whatever Paul needs, I will help him. Well, then you wouldn't mind if I stay around for a little while to make sure that nothing bad happens. Dusty hired you as my bodyguard. <laughs> yeah, that guy is beyond stubborn. You know, I told him I did I, not need any protection. And you're, and, and you're probably right, but if you could just put up with it for a little while, you'd really be doing me a favor. I need the work. Well, how can I say no to that? <sighs> I'm not here to see Emily. You're standing in her office. Yeah, but I'm here to see you. Dusty, I owe you an apology. After my father died, I kind of spiraled out of control, and... I don't know, I think I kind of lost touch with reality for a little while. No kidding. It was completely irrational of me to accuse you of trying to steal my inheritance. And stealing your wife. Well, you... Dusty, give no, me a chance. No, you're right. I'm, I'm... I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you can accept my apology. What do you hope to gain with your apology? I miss Meg. I want my wife back, and she's not coming back if I keep attacking you. I'm calling a truce. If you say so. I'm not just saying it. I'm... I mean it, Dusty. I'm sorry. 
you both have a great day. You're not just visiting my wife, are you? I'm looking out for her. Okay. You brought some flowers for her. Nice flowers. But you can't see her, Paul. I have no intention of trying to see Meg. She said she doesn't want to see me. I respect that. I just wanted to leave some flowers for her at the door. I'll give them to her if you want. That would be great. Thank you. If you see her, could you tell her something for me? Could you tell her that I love her? And then I'm going to do what she asked. And go get some help. So I can be okay. Not just for her, but for the baby. Could you tell her that for me, please? They're beautiful. Do you hear what he said? Mm-hmm. And you believe him? I hope he meant what he said, and he's going to get help. Because there's nothing I would want more than to have my husband by my side when our baby is born. You think you're pretty clever, don't you? Yeah. I know I am. You always underestimate me. No, I'm just uh, waiting for you to tap into those Stenbeck genes I gave you. The ambition, the intellect, the strength. Well, you're going to be real proud of me this time, Dad. This time I know exactly what I'm doing. 